hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching today i have some spring diy so i really hope you guys enjoy today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time i upload with that being said now let's craft So from Dollar Tree, I'm going to use this planter and I'm going to paint the bottom part using some white chalk paint. I am going to leave the rim this beautiful gray color. And I'm going to drill two holes, two on each side. This is where I'm going to add some handles. I will be using some Dollar Tree nautical rope to make the handles. Now I'm going to dress it up just a little more so I'm going to glue the rest of the nautical rope around the planter. I do want to mention that I'm using my planter indoors so I will be using some fake greenery but if you want to use this outdoors I do recommend you sealing the paint first and use a heavy duty adhesive to glue the nautical rope. For the greenery I will be using these two beautiful lavender picks that I got from Walmart. They were $3.47 each. I will be adding some floral foam just because this planter is pretty big and I don't want my greenery to get lost inside the planter. And that is it for this gorgeous planter. For my next project, I will be using this beautiful sign that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now this is already beautiful, so all I'm doing is making this more my style. So I'm going to remove the little cactus planter and I wasn't careful so I did rip some of the paper off. And I do try to fix it by just placing it back in there, but as you can see, you can still tell a lot. So to cover that up, I decided to use this little planter that I got from Michaels. I did get this after spring last year, so this was very inexpensive. Now the next thing I will be doing is just using this hammer to make this a little bit thinner. As you can see, I almost messed it up because I hit it too hard. So I just left it alone and decided to use it like this. Before I add this to my sign, I'm going to add some jute twine around the top part of this little planter. Now I'm going to just use some hot glue to glue my little planter. And what I love about this is that you can use this all year round by just switching the little greenery. So for right now, I'm using this beautiful lavender pig that I got from Walmart and to finish it off I will be adding this little jute twine bow and look how beautiful this turned out My next project is definitely one of my favorite ones. So from Dollar Tree, I will be using one of these Valentine decor signs. I know this is from Valentine, but Dollar Tree does carry similar ones all year round. It's just depending on the season, what they might look like. So I'm going to start by removing the paper. The only reason I removed it was because it was already peeling off. So I decided to just remove it. I will be using the other side so I did remove the sticker and then I paint over this using some white chalk paint. I'm 
I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Meanwhile, I'll be working on my next part, which I will be using some Dollar Tree wood planks. Six come in a pack, but I'm only using three. Out of these three pieces, I will be making six. So I am going to cut these and I do want three to be a little bit bigger than the other ones. To cut this, I will be using my hand saw in this meter box, which I got from Home Depot or Lowe's, one of those, but they are very inexpensive and they're so easy to use. So now I'm going to paint three of my wood pieces, the larger ones to be exact, white, and then the three other smaller ones, I will be using the Waverly chalk paint in the color steel. And this is how they look once everything's dry. Now this is the way I'm going to arrange the wood planks. Gray, white, gray, white, gray, white. For the word spring, I will be using these Dollar Tree poster sticker letters. So I decided not to use an eye and instead of that, replace it with this little pick I'm making. I did cut several of the lavender and the greenery from my planter. I'm using some chew toy to tie everything together. Then I will be making a small chew toy bow and add this to my little floral pick. And look how beautiful it's turning now. Now the next thing I did was just glue these little wood slats. And the way I'm doing it is I'm going to overlap them. But just a tiny bit to where you can still see the words. And I'm using some Jenga blocks on the back for extra support. To finish it off, I decided to add some of this beautiful Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and I'm going to glue it all around the bottom piece. You don't have to, I just decided that I needed something else, like I felt like it looked too plain. But other than that, that is it for this beautiful tabletop spring decor sign. For my next project, I will be using this Walmart wood plank sign, which was $6.68, but Dollar Tree carry signs that you can use instead. I decided to use this because it's already colored gray, so I didn't have to paint anything, plus it goes well with the rest of my DIYs. I'm going to start by removing the sawtooth hooks on the back and then add them on the other side so I can use this sign horizontal instead of vertical. I'm going to add the word home in the front. So for the letters, I'm using these beautiful burlap letters that I got from Walmart. They were either 97 or 98 cents each. And I'm only using the H, the M, and the E. For the O, I will be making a small little wreath using this great bind wreath that I got from Amazon. I'll have the link down in the description box in case you want to check those out. They were very inexpensive. Now I am going to use some of the same lavender greenery pick that I used in my other DIYs. I am not going to add all around the wreath. I'm going to just add some on one side and some on the other side leaving a space in between so I can add a small bow. 
To make the bow, I'm using this beautiful lavender polka dot ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby or I think Walmart. I don't remember, but I did get it from either one of those stores. And I'm going to just make a small little bow and add it to the center of my wreath. To add my wreath to my sign, I decided to use a nail and just nailed it. <laughs> and then just add it there so then I can use my sign all year round and just change the wreath. That is it for this beautiful home decor sign. And that is it for this beautiful spring decor DIYs. Let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because I would love to know. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.